Covering Clay County, where residents could see a sales tax hike of a half cent. The proposal could be on the ballot in early 2019. It comes just two days after Clay County voters approved a property tax increase for school security. Now the district is eyeing another tax hike next year. News for Jacks reporter Scott Johnson joining us live from Orange Park, where district leaders are considering a sales tax increase. Scott? Enjoy the property tax increase that was passed this week gains about $44 million to fund security here at the schools around the county. But now they are looking at that half cent sales tax because they say they need they need even more. That 44 million will go a long way to securing Clay County schools and paying for the salaries of school resource officers. But county leaders argue that money's not enough. The school board is now considering whether to put a half cent sales tax increase on the ballot in early 2019. The goal to raise $300 million to help schools secure buildings like classrooms that are in portables. Some of the 300 million would also go toward improving aging buildings, heating and air air conditioning units, what the district calls deferred maintenance. I would be okay with paying a little bit extra taxes if it meant that they could get the staff that they needed. No, I don't like it. Why? You know, we're taxed left and right. And now more clay voters are split on this half penny tax issue as they were on the property tax issue, which passed Tuesday. What do you think about another tax hike in addition? Well, that tells me that um, maybe Clay County is not my home anymore. Depends on how much of a hike. I mean, a penny, two. Half cent. I'm, I'm for it for the schools. Here's how the tax hikes work. For the property tax one, which is approved for a $100,000 home, you'd pay an extra $100 a year in property taxes. In the proposed sales tax hike, say you go to Home Depot and spend $1,000, you'd spend an extra five in sales tax. Some are critical of the school board and how it's spending tax money. The political action group Clay Family Policy Forum sent out this flyer before Tuesday's election. It claims the district really only needed $21.3 million for extra security over the next four years, and not the $44 million this property tax increase will raise. And district officials tell me they weren't sure where they were getting that number from, but it probably doesn't take into account all the needs that the property tax hike covers. As far as the sales tax, once again, I want to tell you, it is just something they're considering. This isn't on the ballot just yet. And I want to point out someplace where we'll be covering this a lot, our News for Clay County Facebook page. Just started up. You live, if you live in Clay County, we have a lot on there, particularly about this sales tax. We'll be covering it as we get closer to determine whether whether or not it goes on the ballot, just go on to Facebook and look up News for Clay County. We're live in Clay County. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.